Hello everyone, this is Akash Chauhan and in today's lecture we will be discussing about how to declare a variable inside a JSP page and how to declare a method inside a JSP page. And along with that we will also cover the conditional processing, we will cover if else a statement and switch a statement, how to write uh, such a statements inside a JSP page. So these are the simple things we will cover in this lectures. Uh, we are also, once we're done with this lecture, it will be the end of unit three. So we will list, from the next lecture, we'll start unit four. So as you can see, I have written a few examples of how to declare a variable and how to declare a method. Let's discuss what is a variable and how to declare a variable in JSP. As we know, uh, this is a way int count equal to 10. This is a way to, you know, declare a local variable in Java. So as we know, if we want to declare a variable in Java like this, then it, it would be super easy for us to, you know, declare a variable inside JSP as well. It just, uh, how do, the declaration, uh, the way of declaration is a little different. Uh, generally you write, uh, you know, Java code inside these scripted symbols, but in case of variable, you have to use this exclamation mark as well, okay? So you have to use this extra, you know, symbol with the scriptlet symbol to declare a variable, okay? So this is the simple way to declare a variable int count equal to 10 and with the scriptlet and exclamation mark, this is uh, how you, uh, you know, declare a variable inside JSP page. And the second line is printing the value of count, okay? We will see, uh, we will see the code as well to implement uh, this piece of code as well. We will write, uh, you know, few lines. Uh, how to declare a method? It is again simple as we declare a method inside. Uh, it is actually not a method declaration. This is called method definition in Java. But here, uh, this is declaration. Why? Because we want to uh, use factorial later on. That's why we are saying it's a uh, method declaration. So again, as we have declared a variable with the scriptlet and exclamation mark, we declare a method factorial, okay? So factorial is, again, if we want to get the factorial of three, then the factorial would be three cross two cross one, okay? So we can use the recursion, the basic data structure, uh, basics of data structure, three into factorial n minus one would be factorial two. Again, the factorial two, factorial two would become two cross one. So ultimately it would return three cross two cross one. So this is the piece of code of for uh, how to calculate factorial of a given number. Okay, but we need to declare it inside this scriptlet symbol with exclamation mark. So we can later on use it as many time as possible. Okay, according to our desire. So again, uh, like we want to write out uh, this out dot println, we want to use this. We can simply, you know, uh, we can count this. The value of factorial five would be five cross four cross three cross two cross one, and it will be printed. So let's, uh, you know, without any further ado, let's implement this inside our ID. Okay, then we will switch to if else and uh, you know uh, statement interface. So let me open. This is the code I was trying with, okay. So this is the project I have created earlier for uh, in the section A. So inside that, inside a web content, I'm creating few, uh, you know, the statement.jsp and the variable and method declaration.jsp. So let me open the variable and method declaration. So again, uh, this is simply, uh, I'm, I'm using int count equal to 10 as we have discussed here, okay int count equal to 10 and I'm simply printing it out. Okay, out.println and I have used this exclamation mark with the scripted symbol to declare a variable. To declare a method, again what I have done, use this, used this exclamation mark with the scripted symbol and then I have defined the method, the factorial method. Okay, and then I have called it separately. Okay, so if I simply execute it, if I simply run this, and call this variable and method declaration. Let me execute it. Okay, run on server. Okay, so then I have to call this. So 
to copy the qualified name okay easiest ways to copy the name and call this okay so we have to add gsp because we are calling gsp so it is saying we have declared 10 as a variable and method declaration is there the factorial of 5 is 120 okay so this is how to declare a variable okay in jsp this is similar to java except these things okay again uh, this is similar to java except this declaration why we are saying it's a declaration or definition because later on we want to use it in jsp we have declared it once and we want to use it many times okay that's why we are saying it's a, how to declare a variable and a method in a jsp page so let's come to the second point okay this is what we have already uh, you know done okay uh, this is i have defined a method and i'm printing the factorial so this code is a little different than what i have just we have seen or it is similar to that let me see oh, it's similar okay except these lines okay so this is the simple 150 is coming okay method declaration cool so let's come to the next point would be conditional processing so what is conditional processing okay and uh, how to use it so conditional processing is when we have two choices let's say if we have if an else block and if one thing is true then it would check the if condition and it will execute the if block if it is not true then it will execute the else block okay so you can read the, the things what we have discussed but uh, how to use if and else inside the scriptlet symbol. So for that, I have written a you know, separate code. So first let's uh, discuss the if else statement, okay? So how to uh, you know, write if else statement in Java like this, okay? We have declared, uh, this is we have declared, this is how we have declared you know, the variable, variable uh, month value is five and it is an integer type. And we have used the scriptlet symbol with exclamation mark. Again, we have used a scriptlet to use or to declare the if else statement. Okay. But we are not using the exclamation mark because it is not generic. Okay. This is condition based. So we are saying if month is equal to equal to two, then write February. Okay. If it is not February, then we can say it is not the month of February if this is not true. So if this uh, you know this piece of code is correct then it would print it is not the month of february okay in the section of if else statement this is this is simple and similar to the java except we have to enclose it if it is a variable we have to enclose it with the ex exclamation mark and the scriptlet symbol in case of if else statement we simply we can use a scriptlet symbol and we can write if else code inside that if it comes to uh, switch statement, the switch statement is also similar to the Java. What we have, you know, uh, we have used uh, earlier in Java as well. When you were, you know, uh, in the probably in fourth semester, when you were you, you know studying core Java, so you might have uh, covered. I'm um, assuming that you have done with this uh, how to write a switch statement in Java. It is like. Uh, you use the function switch, you pass the variable. So we have declared a variable, the, val the value of the variable is two. And if it is true, so it will check all the cases sequentially. So the value of week is not zero, okay? It is not one, it is two. And it will print Tuesday and it will break out of this switch statement, okay? Default if, uh, if all the condi conditions after checking uh, are not suitable. Let's say if I am passing six, so we have not written anything for case six, okay? So it will execute, you know, it's Saturday. So if I execute it, the, the output would be, it is not the month of February with exclamation mark at the end and uh, Tuesday, okay? And the source is statement.jsp. So instead of this source, The source would become statement for JSP. Statements. Okay. okay, so it is not the month of February, 
and you just change it. So inside switch statement, this printing queue is there and inside if else statement is just printing. It is not the month of February, okay? And how to, uh, you know, write it? Simply write uh, the way you write in Java, just enclosed this code with the scriptlet symbol without exclamation mark because we are now declaring it as a situation based or it is conditional. Okay, so this is almost similar to Java, except it is actually not Java, it is JSP. Okay, so this is what we meant to you know cover in this lecture. Switch statement we have done with that. Okay, so we meant to cover this in a lecture declaring a variable, declaring a method, uh, if else is statement, switch statement. So with that, we are done with the unit three. Okay, few things we have not covered like page context, config page exception we have covered and the application in the session. We will cover all these uh, small topics inside, uh, inside uh, you know, the next unit, fourth unit, because during the servlet creation, uh, these are the important uh, variables that we'll be using during the configuration, okay? So it will be super easy for us to, you know, discuss all these important topics. So except uh, these uh, two, three points, uh, we have discussed uh, rest of the topics of unit three. Okay, if you have any doubt, we can have the, you know, doubt session. Uh, so uh, later on and uh, during the lab as well, you, you guys can ask for, you know, doubt session as well, if uh, things are not clear. So thank you so much guys for today's lecture and have a good day.